because you're a Dutch man, French roots, born in Belgium, surrounded by cobbles. Yeah. Flanders, Roubaix, what do they mean to you, those races? Yeah, actually, I don't really like to ride on cobbles. Uh, <laughs> there's no Don't say that when you go back home to Belgium. I like to race on cobbles, but I never train on them. That's a big difference. I think in a race, it's super nice, but I, I actually don't know anybody who really says, uh, and today I'm going to do some Paris-Roubaix cobble sections. Nobody enjoys this. So, so it's just, it's a magical moment, of course, to race there. It's something super special. It's unique. It's like yeah, saint Rim, which mm. places you really you don't come there often. Um, so that makes it quite e unique. I like to talk about your relationship with pressure because, you know, none of us really in this room will know what you feel. It's, it's a personal thing. Everyone's talking about you. Everyone expects performances. How do you deal with that? Yeah, I'm quite used to it since I have already had some, yeah, quite some big, uh, big appointments uh, with, uh, with cycling in the past. Of course, um, in the beginning when I was younger, uh, it got me nervous, but now I'm kind of used to it. And I think uh, nobody puts more pressure on me than, than I do myself. I want to perform and I want to win. Um, that's why I started racing as well. Uh, I really love to win and um, I think that's also what, what motivates and drives me. Do rivals motivate you or do you just concern yourself with yourself? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I mainly concern myself and I try to be the best version of myself, but yeah, you, you have to, to win. You have to pass the, the rivals. Um, so yeah, it just keeps me on my edge as well. Um, the better they are, the better I have to be. And I think this is all that counts in sports. There's no one particular rival who keeps you awake at night? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, not awake. Uh, I sleep pretty well. <laughs> but for sure, yeah, I have um, with uh, Wout van Aert, of, of course, uh, everybody knows the, the history we have. But now as well, uh, Tadej Pogacar comes uh, to do some classic races as well yes. sometimes. And he's, he's also good in that. So. Um, but like I said, it's good for me, um, keeps me on my edge and I know I have to work even harder to, to try and win. I mean, being part of this generation, is entertaining as important as winning? Mm. Oh, that's a difficult one. Uh, I think I lost some races, uh, well, maybe being too entertaining and in the end, um, yeah, after 10 years when you stop cycling, nobody will uh, look at the entertaining races you did, they will look at the races you've won. And I think I made that switch maybe two, three years ago that I really uh, don't want to look back, back at missed opportunities. And um, the thing is, uh, it is still entertaining because everybody joins the party now at 100k to go, but I'm not, not alone anymore. And no, like I said, I think I really, I know that, yeah, winning big races is, is the most important thing and it's more important than uh, trying to uh, yeah, to do something stupid in a race. <laughs> well, I really look forward to watching you continue to entertain. <laughs> I'll tell you what, entertainment, Palmares, the Palmares is not bad, is it? 163 <laughs> victories so far with Canyon. Here's to many more. Let's enjoy the generational talent while he's still <laughs> with us and racing. Mathieu Fodderpoor, ladies and gentlemen.